Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are going to use the Cricut Joy and the card kits along with the pen tool and I'm going to show you how to make beautiful cards, so simple, beautiful cards and write on the inside of the card using the pen tool. So literally you can put any sentiment you want inside the card and you can even sign it and do all of that on your machine so everything's level and even and I know sometimes my handwriting is not as pretty as I would like for it to be. <laughs> So I am excited about using all the different kinds of fonts that are available in Cricut Design Space. And not just that, you can actually add elements to your card that are drawings. So you can take some of the elements that are images in Cricut Design Space and you can choose draw instead of cut and then those will be drawn on your card. So the options candidly are endless. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that, how to set everything up on the card mat. And if um, you like what I'm doing here today, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button and join me every week for new videos. All right, let's get going. Here we are on the craft table, so I'm gonna share with you what we're gonna to use today. So I have my Cricut Joy. This is the Cricut Joy card mat and I have a pen and I have my card inserts. I have a sheet of pattern paper. I could use just the card insert pieces. There's inserts and cards and envelopes in these kits and they're not very much. I mean, it's actually a really great price, but I wanted to use a pattern. So I have this piece of 12 by 12 card stock and then I have my, um, my tools, so my scraper, my spatula, my, um, weeding tool and I also have my paper trimmer. I use my paper trimmer for everything. And if you want to make your own cards or your own inserts, this paper trimmer is the perfect tool to have. Okay, so let's hop over to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to show you how to do this. But I wanted to show you that on the insert cards, if you wanted to make your own insert piece, so like with this pattern paper, it has the dimensions for the inserts and for the cards right here on the front of the kit. So you would be able to cut out your paper. Um, we're gonna use the card that's already scored inside of this and then we're gonna trim out the insert from this piece. Okay, so let's hop over to Cricut Design Space. Our insert needs to be four by 5.25 and I'll show you why that's important when we get there. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. Just open up a new canvas and what we want to do is we want to actually write on the card before we cut it. If you write on the card before you cut the card, it, you're must, much less likely to mess up the intricate cuts that you create on the front of the card. So here's what we're going to do. So let's go into shapes and we're going to grab a square. Okay, and then we're going to unlock the parameters of the square. So let's unlock. And if you remember on the card kit, it said that the card 4.25 by 5.5. So 4.25 and then by 5.5. Okay. And so before we lock that, um, when you put the card, when you slide the card into the card mat, they're actually, it's, it's just a very small amount, but it's about, I'm going to move this down to 0.10, so 4.10, and then I'm going to lock it. And the reason I did that is because with the fold of the card kit piece, it actually does not um, go all the way in. I mean, it's just slightly off, and I want it to be the exact dimension so that we can center our fonts, and, and it looks centered once it printed onto or written onto the card. Okay, so now that we have um, kind of a background to what this card is, this is really just a template that we're using. We're not actually going to cut this piece. So when we get to that point, we're actually going to hide this element um, and it'll be this pink one. But I wanted to show you how to do it. So you have this piece and then we can turn it to um, the pink. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over into text and choose a font. So let me show you how to choose a font. Um, if you go up into fonts and you go into the search function, there is a filter. And what you wanna do is you wanna choose the writing filter and it's gonna bring up all the fonts that can write. Um, because some of these fonts, they're only good for cutting. So with the write feature, 
um, then you can kind of scroll through them and pick if you wanted to do something whimsical and fun or if you wanted to do something um, that was block or just know that when you pick that font it's going to look a little bit different let's just choose Babette um, so that you can see the difference here you saw that it looked like it was a thicker font but the writing version of that is different so let's just say love you so you can see what it's going to look like okay so this is Babette and then we would just make that smaller but this is the writing version of that so you see up here you have Babette writing and regular if we did regular okay so it's going to look like that that's what it would look like if it was cut but what we're going to do is writing and so it thins it out so that the pens can write them um, and then once you choose all of your font and you write your message inside let's just go ahead and move this up and you write your message inside then um, you would attach those letters to each other or that um, the fonts to each other so that everything writes at one time and you can also so like say you have multiple pens so you wanted to make um, this black and then you were going to make the other text there a different color um, you would be able to go up into colors and choose different pens so say you wanted that to be red for whatever reason when you get into um, writing this onto the actual piece the Cricut Joy is going to tell you to switch over to the red pen but for us I really just want all of this to be one color so I'm going to go back to black and um, the other thing that I wanted to show you that you could do so you've chosen a font um, you can use multiple different kinds of fonts you don't have to have everything be the same but you can also go into images and you can choose an image that you want it to draw so I chose flower um, but so say you wanted to choose this flower and so you could do something very simple just like love you and the drawing of this flower and your pen tool would do that and then you could of course sign it um, but the it's endless what you can do inside of the card with the pen tool you can make it as personal as you want it to be and you can even do what I think are beautiful with these drawings and there's multiple different um, colors of pens you can use blacks um, I'm gonna be using like a pink today there's greens there's markers there's sparkly markers they have all kinds of um, pens that you can use with the Cricut Joy okay so now that we have um, our sentiment written out and I wrote something to my mom and did a little flower and signed it you want to make sure that it is centered on to that cardstock or onto that piece of the card so what you can do is you go up into more and choose alignment and you can center it's already centered but you can center that font just make sure that you have clicked on the sentiment and you've hit the shift key and clicked on the card and then or you can do it here with a line center horizontally and because mine's already centered it didn't move but if it wasn't it would have shifted to be perfectly center of that element so now what we want to do is I am going to take this one and I'm going to hide the entire thing because we're not actually going to do that so I want that, that and that okay so here I want to hide the square and I want to select all of this and I want to attach it because I want it to all write at one time um, when I get it into the joy okay and so now we're and what I would suggest guys do not delete this even though it's personalized you already have your square set up to the appropriate size and all that kind of thing so just save this you could even save it as something like I put Mother's Day card but maybe you want to save it as um, you know inside card or something like that so that you have that template set up so every time you do a card you're just swapping out your sentiment or your drawing and you don't have to recreate the wheel okay before we go forward do yourself a favor and check all of your text um, when I did this just a second ago I realized that I had one still set up as a cut <laughs> so make sure I had um, this one set up as a cut so just make sure that everything says draw um, okay so let's go ahead and select make it 
Okay, so we're gonna do this on the pre-folded card, or it's a pre-folded card on the card mat. So we select card mat. Okay, so now when you get to this point and you're looking at your artwork to review, there's a couple of things you need to do. You wanna make sure it says on the mat, and with material size, you can change it um, so that it's actually um, easier for you to center it because this little piece down here, there actually won't be any card on that. So if you grab your design, another reason for it to all be attached, if you grab your design and you pull it down, you'll be able to somewhat more center. What about this? Same amount, top and bottom. Okay, and we don't need to worry about mirroring because that is what you use for iron-on. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit continue. Okay, so now it's found our Cricut Joy and we're going to use the insert card cardstock. Okay, and it's telling us we need a black pen, which of course I'm going to be using a pink pen, but um, we have one pen and load the mat. So let's hop over to the craft table and I'll show you how this works. Okay, here we are on the craft table and I've cleared away everything except our insert kit and our mat, our pen, and our joy. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use the card inside of this. So I just wanna grab one of those and set the rest to the side. And so the card opens like this. What we wanna do is we want to bend it open. So looking at it this way, this is the card piece that's gonna cut. We've bent it backwards. And now we're going to insert it into our Cricut Joy mat. Okay, and so then on the Cricut Joy mat, there is a shield just like there is on your normal Cricut mat then it's tacky it's sticky so now what we're going to do is we're going to lay that over on top put that down and we're going to feed it into our joy okay and so now we're going to put the pin tool in and select go Putting your pen in your Cricut Joy is very, very simple. So all you do is open the clamp, take out your blade, and put your pen inside. Now if you own a Maker or an Explorer, you're probably expecting that to click. It doesn't do that with the Joy. You just put it inside the housing and close the clamp. Okay, so let's select Go on our desktop or our mobile device and watch her cut. And of course I meant watch it right and it's so interesting to me to watch it draw um, elements like this like how pretty is that so it started with the element of the flower and then it will go to our writing okay it's done and I'm so excited how it turned out I mean could I write that perfectly that straight absolutely not <laughs> and I surely couldn't draw that, that flower. Okay, so then we take out our pen and put that away and then we'll go ahead and put back in our um, blade and let's hop back over to Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cut the front of this. Okay, so now that we've finished writing on our card, what we wanna do is we want to save our project, which I've already done, and then we just wanna open a new project. And actually what I would suggest is go to the home and if you scroll down, you will see there's Cricut Access, which a lot of the cards are in. But if you want to see them all the time, go to Creative Cards and then View All. And we're going to be choosing a Mother's Day card, of course. And so there's a few of them I really like. So Happy Mother's Day. Um, there, I love you. I mean, that, that one's great for so many things. It wouldn't just have to be Mother's Day, right? Um, and then world's best mom. I love you mom. There's all kinds of really cute ones. Um, and then this one's really fun. I like that one as well. Um, there's a lot of teacher appreciation ones in here too. So there's a thought and then love you mom. So I am thinking that I'm going to go, I have the floral piece and this one has floral elements in it. And then there's another one up higher that has some floral elements. I'm thinking though that I'm either, I think I'm gonna go back down and go with the heart, this one right here. That's just beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so it's 99 cents. 
um, or it's free with Cricut Access. So if you pay for Cricut Access every month, then this card is just included in that. But if you buy your designs as you go, then it's 99 cents. So let's go ahead and select Make It. It's showing it to you on the canvas because there's nothing about this that you need to change. It literally goes straight to cut. So if you look over here, you'll see, um, again, on the card mat, um, and then material loaded type on the card mat, the material size. And if you are cutting your own, then this is the size that you need it to be. Um, but if you're using the card kits, then it's already pre-cut. Okay, and then we'll select continue. Okay, at this point we can set our material and it's the same as before, it's the insert card kits. Okay, and we need the fine point blade and our joy is already connected. And so it's time to go over to the craft table. Okay, so here back on the craft table, we're just taking our card mat, we're gonna take our card off of it, okay? And if you remember, we flipped it over so that it would write on the inside, so then we want to take it back to the appropriate side, we want to slide it in, make sure that it's in the right spot, and then we will put that down back onto the sticky, and we will feed it back into the joy. Okay, and we just selected go on our machine and now it's cutting out the design on the front of the card. So now we've unloaded our mat. We can literally just close up our joy and move it out of the way. And now what we want to do is take our weeding tools and weed our mat or weed our card. So just peel it off gently. Some of the more intricate designs, it's good to use. The scraping tool. But this one is coming off quite well. Wow, look at that, how pretty. Okay, so it's a little bit of cleanup for us to do, but you see how everything came off on that mat for the most part, so there's not a lot of weeding with it. It sort of like self-weeds itself with the card mat. So remember what I said about, um, you know, cutting or writing first and cutting second? Could you imagine putting something that intricate, trying to slide it underneath the sleeve? We will set this aside um, for later and we will take care of cleaning that up later. But for the card itself, there's only a few things that are left for us to weed out. So we can just pop those out, those little hearts. Get those out of the way. And the next thing that we wanna do, we will put this over to the side. The next thing that we want to do is we want to get our insert paper and our paper trimmer and cut that out to size so that it works with our card. Okay, so if you remember on the insert card kit, it says that the cards are 4.25 by 5.5. Well, the inserts are four by 5.25. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our trimmer and we want to four, and I love this because you can be so precise and then, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but you actually have the ruler here as well. And so you can literally cut it perfectly. And then we will flip that around. And I probably should just trim this off. This is a 12 by 12 sheet, but it has, um, you know, the brand has their piece there on the end, so it's kind of making it difficult to get in. Okay. And then we just bring our back up to there, and we have the perfect insert. And so there's polka dots on the back, and then there's all this color on the front, so it'll be beautiful inside the card and out. Okay, so now what we need to do is take our pretty little insert and use the quick corners that all the Joy cards have and just pop in the insert and so then we'll have all this beautiful pattern showing through on the card. 
And then when we flip it open, we have another pattern. I love two-sided paper. So then we'll have a different pattern on the inside that really makes that area pop as well. I am loving these Cricut Joy cards and candidly, I can't wait to holiday cards <laughs> um, like Christmas and um, Halloween invitations and things like that. This is just too, too cute. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that card idea and I hope you'll get an opportunity to hop over to Cricut Design Space in Cricut Access and check out um, all the different card types that they have. So today, um, the card that we made, you know, was for mothers, but you could also make one um, for birthdays, for get well soon, for all the holidays. They have some in for Christmas, Easter, which is over this year, but Thanksgiving, Halloween, and I know they're adding new ones all the time. So make sure that you hop over and check it out. I put a link in the description down below, along with links to the Cricut Joy, the pins, and all those things that we use today. And if you like what we did today, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and you hit that subscribe button so you join me every week for new videos. All right, I'll see you guys next time.